So, um, the formulations of Gaussian is the proportion of Americans who think they are unlikely to have Zika virus. A researcher's claim is that that proportion is equal to 85% or 0.85. We collect a sample of size 250. Out of those 250 Americans, 225 said that they are unlikely to contract the Zika virus. So we need to find P hat. <coughs> what is P hat? So n times p is definitely greater than five. Q is also greater than five for sure. Um, some textbooks would use n times p hat, n times q hat. I believe your textbook uses P and Q. Um, so we have to find the test statistic when I walked around. The mistake that some of you made is not putting that within parentheses. If you did that, you get a negative answer, which is incorrect. The claimed value is 0.85, so if P is 0.85, what is Q? Uh, 0.15. Point one five divided by n two hundred and thirty. You put that all in, and what do you get? Two point two. Two point two. The definition of the test is our white circle here. Where should the null statement go? Right here. What is the alternative if P is equal to 0.5? P is not equal to B. Or 0.85. Of the two, the problem suggests that P equals 0.85 is the claim. What type of test is this? <coughs> Left, right, 210. So how many rejection regions does it have? Two. Two. What is the area under the curve, the shaded area? Alpha over two. Alpha over two. So in this case, alpha is 0.05, so 0.05 divided by two, 0.025. Is it necessary to find those first numbers? No. You find one, multiply by negative one, you get the other. Inverse norm of the area below, which is 0.025, and at negative 1.96. If this is negative 1.96, that. It's positive 
So if the tester does so falls either on this side over here or on that side, we reject the null. Where does it fall? Should we reject the law? Yes. Is there enough evidence to support the claim? No, because the claim um, is the null, but we rejected it, so we don't have enough evidence to support the claim. What is the other way of obtaining a conclusion? Which will give you the p value. There's this a two tail test. So, what is the p value for a two tail test? It is two times of two times oh, area. Let's see. The tested to above the test. Oh, the test is just safe. No. No, the um, the rejection rate. B. two times the area above the absolute value of test statistic. Well, in this case, the test statistic is 2.21. Absolute value of 2.21 is still 2.21. So two times. Absolute value of 2.21, still 2.21. E nine nine zero one. What do we get? And do not forget to multiply it by two. On itself. Point zero two seven. So, if I rejected the null, the probability of error in my conclusion based on the current evidence is about two point seven percent. Now that is way below the five percent that I set. So whether it's five percent or not, to me, two point seven percent is a very low probability. Yes. So I can comfortably reject the null. If I reject the null, I'm going with the alternative. So there is not enough evidence to work with the claim. Good. So 